Hey, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. I earlier had absolutely nothing to say today. Yesterday was uh, really emotional. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but it was an emotional video for me on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And uh, it's hard to come back after that. I don't, I don't know if you thought it was a great video, but at least for me, it, it was uh, hard to figure out how do you follow that how do you follow that up? Which, um, and you know, do I come back and talk about anti-spin rubber? Um, good, but uh, <laughs> that's not what I'm doing today. Anyway, um, inevitably, if I get out of the house, if I move around, go for a walk, something will come to me. That's about the only way I come up with ideas if I'm moving. And that's a, one of the main things that I emphasize all the time is get moving, helps your brain, helps your body. Um, but stuff happens and something happened today and I kind of put it together while I was on my walk and here it is. I got an email a couple days ago, maybe it was just yesterday, that uh, was from Brian Crisp of Atlanta Georgia Table Tennis Association president uh, saying that Tuesday and Sunday leagues, uh, masks would be required to come and play. And I was like, okay, well, I, I hadn't planned on going anyway, but uh, if masks were required, that would have been a deal breaker for me. Uh, I don't know how you feel, but my personal feeling is if, if masks are required, if, if it's too dangerous to be there without a mask, I don't have enough faith in masks to go. I can look at it from that point of view. On the other hand, um, if, if masks aren't required and I'm having to wear a mask, I feel like the side effects of the masks are, are worse than, uh, it's just something I don't want to deal with. Like I said, you may have a completely different opinion and you're, you're welcome to that. Uh, but, um, uh, for anybody that's interested, I, I've been vaccinated. I've had my boosters. I just have felt like from day one, if we start trying to put masks on everybody, then it's really never going to stop. Now, it may stop at some point, but uh, I would say my prediction so far has been pretty much right. Um, people are very unwilling. In fact, some people have told me they've shown up here for lessons in masks, and they said, oh, it's just a, we just in the habit of wearing them as soon as I sort of tell them that it's fine with me, but they don't have to, most of them will immediately take them off. So this isn't uh, a video totally about mask wearing, but after I get the one email, a couple days later, in fact, this morning, I get another email from Brian and it says, after many emails and phone calls, um, masks are, no, are not required. Um, I would have loved to have known, <laughs> loved to have seen some of those emails, loved to see uh, some of those texts, hear some of those phone calls. What, what's really going on? Have people decided at this point that um, it's, you know, they're, you know, <laughs> what, what's the thinking? I don't know. I could speculate. I could imagine what a lot of people might say, but um this video is actually about experts, and let's just start with table tennis experts. Um, my point being, if we've learned anything from life in the last couple of years, is that experts aren't always right. And um, this most recent thing with uh, apparently the expert advice two days ago was that people should be wearing masks. and. Um, did the science change um, in two days? Um, I doubt it. I think uh, the pressure from the public saying, okay, maybe maybe I should be wearing a mask in a hospital. Maybe I should be wearing it in a nur in nursing home. Um, not sure I should be using it in a gym where I'm playing table tennis. And I, I think that, that might be a reasonable way to look at it. But I, I've, this is a, something that I really, really have felt strongly about is that just because someone is labeled as an expert, that does not mean that they're infallible. And I, I'll give you that, you know, some people might consider me an expert on some things in table tennis. Doesn't mean I'm not wrong or I might be wrong for you. 
Um, I know a lot of coaches have the opinion that they're pretty much always right. Um, uh, and in the end, it, it's up to the player, the person, to sort that out. I, I respect the opinions of people who are more informed than I am, have more information, have been working in a field longer than I have. But what do you do when you have one expert that says one thing and you have another expert that tells you the exact opposite? And that, that is not unusual. Now, my way of handling that is uh, taking on my own personal responsibility for figuring out whether it's a table tennis coach that's telling me something or whether it's uh, uh, public health people telling me something. Inevitably, it's got, it's got to be what I decide. If I'm listening to somebody, I figure, what, what's been their track record? Where, where are they coming from? I've lo lost some respect for uh, health advice from government entities, given that they never some of the things that I thought were obvious that would help during the pandemic were never suggested. Is, is sunshine not good? Is that not giving us good vitamin D? Have I, I mean, my personal experience is if I get out in the sun, I feel better. I, I think there's some good, um, good information, good data out there that would suggest that sunshine is good for you. Fresh air is good for you. Uh, but at the point where uh, say people should stay in their house and put a mask over their face as much as possible that doesn't match up with my life experience and, uh, and so I, I just see where experts have been wrong over and over in this area and um, it, if you look if you're looking for something more in the realm of table tennis I've, I've had coaches, people that were much better players than me, tell me things uh, years ago, perhaps, that uh, I was trying to make some sense out of. And after learning more about it later, I find out that some of these really good players and sometimes even really good coaches were, were flat out wrong, or at least they were wrong for me in my case. So you can get conflicting information from experts and... Um, like I said, I, I was sort of inspired by the, uh, <laughs> the flip-flop on the masks all of a sudden. And uh, I'm, I could go on and on about this, about how the medical community fails to prescribe exercise and fails to suggest losing weight uh, as even a starter. Uh, we, we know that obesity is a health problem, particularly in the, um, in the pandemic times. So <laughs> maybe, maybe I've said enough about this and maybe you uh, differ in your opinion, but I've, I've thought for a long time, we really got to rethink what, what we define as an expert and I think when you think expert that's fine but just don't think infallible uh, I hope we would have learned that by now all right well um, we'll have something again tomorrow uh, who knows what and um, thanks for listening bye